That big old bone ball and wheels out there. Wow. Hey everybody, I'm Pro Staff Chris Brackett. If you watch the American Outdoorsman, I'm with Elizabeth Toburin watching this big old gobbler here in Mississippi at Camp Creek Hunting Estates. We're gonna go put a stalk on this bad boy. Don't go anywhere, it's gonna be an amazing show. Man, look at that big dog. We got some birds down here. We're turkey hunting. Elizabeth's behind me. Come on, girl. She's down here. We're going to try to get her first bird. Look at this beautiful dust bowl. What those birds do is they, they come up here when it's dry. When it's dry and hot like this, and they just they dust. You see all their, their tracks in there? You see all their tracks in there? They'll come up here in this high side. There's actually some feathers in it. Check this out. You got some feathers in there. That means that they frequent this area. And this thing looks like they've been using it quite a bit. They've been working this fence line. The guide said they've been working the fence line. We've seen several birds down here when we were walking up. Hopefully they work down here. I'll shoot them at five feet, what do you think? We're gonna set up right here on these trees. And uh, looks pretty good. All right, let's get set up. Liz and Chris locate themselves just off an open field in a well-camouflaged area. After very little calling, Liz is excited to see a group of birds off to her right. As they draw closer, she discovers their jakes. As the Jakes leave the area, Chris and Liz decide to split up in hopes of finding their trophy gobbler. Chris sets up his B-Mobile strutting gobbler decoy by Primo's. Well, it's the evening in Mississippi and we've got a beautiful strutting area right here. We saw a bird strutting here this morning. We were set up across the way and brought him halfway across that field but didn't get him. So we brought a full body with a, with a beautiful fan on it. Actually, it's broken that way. That feather blows in the wind, but got a hen with it. Hopefully we can make a big Tom jealous here in Mississippi. It's gonna be a nice evening. Jealous, what are you talking about?
Bird down, baby. Big bird down. Oh my gosh. Look at this pretty bird. How pretty is that? This big dog is giving us a slip. Look how beautiful he is. This big dog is giving us the slip probably four, four or five days in a row. Got a good beard, probably two year old, three year old bird. At the iridescent colors on this Mississippi bird. They're not as big as our Illinois, and Missouri, and Kansas birds, but gosh, they're as pretty as ever. All right, two year old, three year old bird. Inch hooks. Good fighting. It looks like he's got some wing feathers missing. Good beard, real good beard, 10 incher. What a pretty, just a solid, pretty bird. Thick black band. Look how thick that is. Now that is wild turkey hunting in Mississippi. Camp Creek Hunting Estates. If you're looking for exciting adventures throughout the state of Mississippi, contact Mike Jones at the Mississippi Department of Tourism today. Find out why Mississippi should be your next exciting destination. 866-733-6477. Hi everybody, this is the American Outdoorsman Quail Hunt at the Camp Creek Hunting Estates. I'm with Hotshot here, Elizabeth, better known as uh, Liz or Beth. And, uh, we've been hunting together the last couple days, so uh, I've got two new guests with me, and I have Gigi and I have Anita, and they're gonna, they're gonna show me how to shoot some quail. So we're gonna get after it. We got two great dogs, a good guide, and some beautiful property here in Northern Mississippi. Y'all ready? Ready. Come on, girls. Let's show him what to do. <laughs> <laughs> we got a point. Look at Honor. That's beautiful. All three of y'all, I'll just be behind you. I wanna watch this. Y'all shoot, follow, follow Jeff's lead. Camp okay. Creek Hunting okay. Estates resides near the Mississippi border, less than an hour outside of Memphis, Tennessee. It's home to a variety of big and small game, including quail, hog, white-tailed deer, and turkey. We got one. Got him. One for the team. Today's quail hunt is guided by Jeff Montgomery. Now that's a female, right? Uh huh. With the yellow head. Uh huh. Oh, yeah. See that? Yeah. I'll Jeff prefers to guide only a small group of hunters at a time to maintain a safe, enjoyable experience for all. Nice shot! Alright. Good shot. Yeah. All right. It's a head shot too, I think. See, she's got her own vest now. She can carry that one Good too. Good fat one. Poking my there. Yeah. You wear your own vest. You have to tote the bird. I'll yeah. tote the bird. <laughs> now you can tell I don't. I'll tote the bird. I don't wear my own vest. Fill it up. It's pretty to watch them work. Mm -hmm. You hear that? Beep, beep, beep. While in the field, the guide will use whistles and certain words to communicate with the dogs, while a series of high-pitched pings locate the dogs while they're on point or traversing the field. Once they're in position, the dog will remain on point until it's released by the hunter. This makes locating devices even more important in heavy cover. Get them. Aside from that, quail hunting can be pretty simple. You just have to keep in mind a few simple rules. What's the number one rule? 
Don't shoot the dog. <laughs> What's number two? Don't shoot me. <laughs> Other than that, we're all good. He's moving fast. He was moving real fast. Yep, a couple more than Shelby. Sure do. Instead of her. Right here underneath my feet. I got a retriever right here. No shoot. We need some more shells, bud. Look at they're taking care of me. We're mothers. What That's can we I say? Love <laughs> I love it. I go. I go get him. Get him. Oh, that's a cameraman. Got him! <laughs> you enjoy the hunt? Man, that was awesome. A little tired though, but what I want to know is which one of us is cooking, oh wait, I mean, which one of them are cooking the uh, <laughs> the quail and gravy? I'll do the gravy You'll volunteer? And the biscuit. That's Woo. right, you can I heard the about quail. the southern, all this southern cooking here from Mississippi. Oh, you better believe it. Let's go check it out. Okay. Welcome back to Camp Creek Hunting Estates, located in Mississippi. Among the variety of game offered by Camp Creek is the wild boar. Today we're hunting with guide Bubba Rogers and hunters Chris Brackett and Liz Toburin. Now, did you say you've seen some other boars down here? Yeah, down two, this creek? Two boars. Two boars? Mm -hmm. You're up. You're up. We have, mine's over here. What we'll do is we'll just, we'll just sneak on up this creek right here. And we'll get up and then we'll just get you a good rest and then you lay, lay one of them down. Sounds good. All right. Works yeah. for me. Let's do it. Seriousness, everybody. Get on up here. Get on right, right up there where that grass is. This one closest to us right there, straight in front. With that front shoulder, go up that, that, that leg, the middle leg you see. Kind of to the left, but to the right of my feet. That one right. Big one there. Do you see him turn? Ready. All right, whenever you're ready. You got him. Listen to him. Did you see that? You got him, girl. <laughs> Did you see me rounding? First wild boy. He rounded that corner right up there on the right hand side. Okay. Bubba, she got her, man. <laughs> <laughs> that looked like a really good hit. It looked really good that hit of me. He was right quarter. To the head. He was quartering away. He kicked up just like a white tail heart shot. Good shot, huh? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we'll get we'll get Bubba, and uh, we'll head on over there. We'll see if we can find some blood, okay? Okay. And then we'll we'll at least give it. 
at least give it 15, 20 minutes, so. Yeah. Cool, what do you think of that, your first boar, huh? It was awesome. Let's go. <laughs> go bang. Here's blood over here. Yeah, there's some blood right there. There he is, right there. Woo! We got him. Look at the colors of that one. That's all muddy. Congratulations, girl. You got your first hog. Thank you. Let's pull him out here. What a big dog now. Spin him around. Look at these big tusks and everything. That's a good one there. Look at that. Real good one. Congratulations, Missy. Thank you. Good shooting. Bubba yeah. got us on him again. What do you think about this? This is your first one. I just got to see mine not too long ago. Yeah. It's got this big great. plate that runs down it. What do you think about these tusks? Those are the cutters. Cutters. Yep. Good cutters. cutters, what do you call them, top ones? Those are those web, uh, wet, wet, like a wet stone. Wetters. Wetters. So that wow. keeps them sharp. sharp. Well, I say we get this back and we get it skinned out, cut up, and let Tommy do some barbecuing on it. And we Put can all sit grill. back and relax. Sounds good. What a good day. Yep, let's do it. Awesome day. Teamwork, everybody. The American <laughs> Outdoorsman. We've got about 2,000 acres where the camp is here, and we've got about 3,500 acres. I've been all over the place hunting, and it's some of the prettiest hunting ground and scenery that I've ever seen in my life. And we've got just about everything a person could ever want out here to hunt. Hogs, deer, turkey, quail, ducks, just anything a person could imagine out here in northeast Mississippi. In the near future, we're fixing to put in some four-wheeler trails and bike trails and hiking trails because everybody don't like to hunt. If a person come down and wanted to hunt their family and didn't want to, they could go and walk or hike or ride the four-wheelers or whatever they wanted to do while the rest of them was out hunting. And that way, the, you know, the whole family could enjoy it if, if that whole family wanted to come. We want this place to be a family-oriented place uh, where they can come out and have a good time and hunt and, and just experience something that city people don't have a chance to do. If they ever experienced it, I believe they would come back. northern Mississippi with a turkey on my back. <laughs> it don't get any better than that. Hey, that's all the time we have for this week's show, everybody. I want to thank you for watching. I also want to thank Mike Jones for the Mississippi Department of Tourism, uh, everybody at Camp Creek Hunting Estates for the hogs and the quail and uh, wild turkey, and all the boys that helped us out with the guiding. And I also want to thank special guest Elizabeth Toburin, and I wanted to thank Gigi for that pecan pie that I love so much and uh, Anita for coming quail hunting with me. Hey everybody, thanks for watching. Till next time, I'm Chris Brackett. Shoot straight.
For more information on today's program, you can visit our website at www.theamericanoutdoorsman.com. While you're there, check out our stylish Signature Series apparel.